uh, I have my uh, car that is actually given to me by the work my work so I use it only for the work it's a Nissan pickup and uh, we have a problem with the alternator this is called the alternator guys okay. now there is no more power coming out from this uh oh yeah <laughs> this is our friend <laughs> assalamu alaikum how are you doing Salam nice to see you Salam. okay you you will appear on the youtube do you mind is yes. it okay to appear on the youtube this is a youtube yeah Mashallah, my, my channel you? what is uh, your name your channel i'll give it to you later on yeah. Yeah. have a good day Shukran jazeera this is the best uh mechanics here I think he's also an elect electrician so we have some filipino uh brothers working in here and uh, what i told them actually when i uh, experienced this problem is that i am doubting that the alternator has a problem with it because i'm sure there is no power is coming out from here because what happened to me when i was doing my job last wednesday i was out for checking some uh, some place for the work and when i arrived to that clinic there was a problem the power started to fade down fade out fade out until i get nothing for the spark sparking blood to operate so the car was about to stop so i figured out that it is not the battery problem it's for sure the problem of the source itself i mean alternator so what they said that there might be some problem with this power regulator here this is actually regulating the power from ac to dc and we still will check there is a way how we can check the uh, ic's inside here uh, most of the times that there are diodes and uh, uh, some kind of uh, power regulation as we know all but we will see i don't know if there is any burn will a burn but we cannot see exactly unless after we check all these things so for now we're waiting for the guy from there he will come and uh we will do that so then i will we will see what will happen in the next step i'm sure we have to uh, request somebody should go out to buy the spare parts if needed and then we'll be back uh it's an old uh, uh, uh car uh, Nissan car you can see that on the rails here and on the uh, carbon brushes here also it's very old but it's still working as for the stator I don't see any problem because there are some uh, uh, coils inside here this is called the stator this one this one stator coils and everything uh, is okay except for this part here Let's see what's going to happen next so here we are guys again and uh, as i said we had a problem regarding the uh the alternator from down there we opened it from down there as you can see yeah because what happened actually is while i was doing my job i was outside for a trip and it is not more than maybe 10 minutes the power inside the vehicle started to fade out and fade away a little bit the lights the everything the signals right and left the horn everything until we get up to a situation that even the sparks the spark plugs have no more uh power to work so the car was about to stop and i had difficult times and had in that i am really an expert driver i would be in a big trouble you know what i'm saying i'm telling myself i am an expert driver otherwise no one can bring it back to here somebody has helped me to start it up by connecting the batteries together from his own car and then i was able to start it again and then i hit it back to the work here again it was very difficult times so each time I was about to lose the car and once it is stopped it will never start again because as you know 
when the alternator is down it means that there is no power coming to the uh, to charge the battery so you are basically working on the on the stored power or charge inside the battery until it is completely discharged in this case the car will stop no matter where you are you are in a bridge or in a uh, slop or whatever so you have to be careful about this and being a person working on the uh, actually uh, I lived a long time in the mountains I have very good experience about this so I'm gonna leave those people right now to do their work and then I will come back later on like uh, after a couple of hours to see what happened but mostly they will uh, test this regulator on those electronic uh, ICs, those ICs. I mean, you can see them. Some of them are MOSFETs, some of them are transistors. Uh, I think they will check them when they found that there is a problem they request for uh, spare parts. This will take time, maybe two days or less or more, I don't know. But I will come back later on to uh, uh, update you about the situation. So, let's go back to my office. It's really, really far. And I have to walk and it's hot outside but we have to do that we have to do that so let's go to the office and come back come back again you guys will come back our friend here he's saying that this is not good to be changed the better thing to do because this is really old and consumed is to buy a new complete alternator. Simbi. Well, fair enough, my friend. Simbi. Yeah. Simbi, simbi. Thank you for that. Thank it's you. Better, yeah. Thank you very much, my friend. Well, that makes sense. Buy a new one to, to get away from the hassle. Nice. If we want to continue working on this car, and instead of each time we get trouble with this, you can see is really consumed yeah and wear it out all right guys so he's going to request you've seen the paper with his hand he's going to write the request for a new alternator for this model for this car and then later on i will be here to see when they will actually install it back to my car and that will be it have a good day thank you very much and see you soon Thank you.